Hey guys, this is Fabian. Uh, this is my truck. Um, today we have a glass installer to come out. Uh, we have a planned event to install and replace the window. Uh, I guess uh, where there would normally be a mid-gate in some trucks, uh, there's the back window of the second row. And uh, he's going to come out and take this window out, hopefully in one piece. And we're going to replace it with this structure that was developed by a company called Breezer Windows. And this structure allows for air to pass through the cabin to the bed so that when the vault is closed, you can, you know, you can sleep or you can be in a, a safe air conditioned space. Uh, as we all know, with power, with a vault cover for protection, and now with HVAC from the cabin. So I'm going to go over that uh, structure now. All right, so um, this is the, um, the box that it comes in. It's all well packaged. It comes with the structure here uh, that is a direct drop-in replacement to the glass that goes right there. Uh, and then, of course, it has a bunch of little holes um, that allow the air to pass through. Now, when you're not actually using the bed for HVAC, um, you put uh, a removable piece of glass, that's this one right here, uh, that clips in uh, over the holes with a complete seal. So there's no, uh, no noise intrusion, no, uh, no air intrusion into the cabin, it's a sealed space. But when you want to use the bed to take advantage of the HVAC that comes with the truck, you take the window off uh, and you um, can put that away. And it comes with a little carry bag, so we're going to show that once I get it. There are certain features of this I haven't gotten yet, but they're coming. And the little bag is, is one of them, so we're going to keep going now in more detail. So now we're going to show a little bit more detail of what this window looks like. It appears to be some kind of really strong plastic structure. I don't know if that's plastic, PLA, or what, what this is. It's, uh, it's definitely not 3D printed. This is, uh, this is probably cut from a large um, sheet. And uh, this is where the window normally goes over. It's got, it's got all these clips. Now, Breezer Windows, of course, the company that makes this. And they, they've been in business with this design for other trucks um, where they just replace the window. So you can crawl through it or, you know, if you go to their website, you'll see it at breezerwindows.com. And, uh, but in this case, it's a special design because, because the way the tonneau cover works, you know, there's some safety concerns with wanting to make sure that little kids don't put their arms through the window and then someone flips a switch to close the tonneau cover and somebody gets hurt. So, so this is a good in-between because ultimately what we're looking for here is to get air from the cabin into the bed in a discreet way. No tubing outside, nothing like that. And then when we're done camping, we, uh, we position the window back into this lip here at the bottom. And then it just clips in. Uh, these are spring-loaded clips. They feel pretty tough. Um, and that keeps the window in place. And again, there's a seal all the way around. It's pretty, pretty soft but meaty. And that keeps, you know, it keeps it sealed. It keeps the noise from coming into the cabin. So it's just like you, if you had a window, but you can remove the window now. So here we look at, at the actual window a little bit more in detail. I put it aside. And it's a, it's a piece of glass with its own, uh, with its own covering all the way around, on the edges here and all the way around, and then it's even got a handle, and, it's, and they're pretty tough. Um, that just kind of goes all the way around, and there's even markings on this glass. You know, this is uh, this is designed and cut specifically for this. So when you're not using this. Um, this will come in with a bag that you can buy from Breezer Windows and very likely uh, it will fit right in this structure here. So you can Velcro it to that structure 
put it in the bag and leave it there until you're done with it. So let's spend a few moments looking at what is going on with this window in the truck. So if we open the door and take a look here in the truck, uh, we see that everybody that has this truck knows there's, there's a window back here. And um, it's sealed, you can't move it, you can't roll it down. You can get passengers to sit here. And there's actually a lot of space on the floor. It's almost perfectly flat. So if you're short enough, you can sleep here and, you know, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to deal with this. But if you're anything over six feet tall, it's going to be uncomfortable to sleep here. So you might want a plan B. And that plan B is, uh, you know, in my case, I wanted something discreet. So to remove this window and get air to circulate. And of course, you need to be able to push the air. So we're going to talk about that. So... If you look at your truck, um, yeah, there's air conditioning coming from the centerpiece. And you could somehow devise something to extract air out of that area and push it through this window that we're going to install or this, this structure that has openings. But, uh, but that's, that's too complicated. Let's do something simpler. So a lot of people know that there are two rather large vents that push air into the cabin right underneath the front seats. And they're right, right here. Here's one uh, right behind the driver's seat. And then there's the other one behind the passenger. And Breezer Windows has designed a clip-in structure that goes right above this that I'm pointing to with a tube that runs all the way, ultimately would clip into the new window that we're putting in and allow air to push uh, into the cabin. And of course I asked them, hey, you know, have you tested this? Because we just want to make sure it's enough air. And uh, they claim it works. And I, I believe them. So we're gonna we're gonna find out in the next couple months with some camping trips. Uh, but that's that's uh, the design of this. Okay. Hi everybody. Uh, we're gonna uh, do a project today and uh, we have a gentleman from Pacific Coast Auto Glass uh, here in Hollister, California. And he's going to uh, tell us his name and who he is and what he's going to do today. So go ahead and take it off. Hi, my name's Travis. I'm with Pacific Coast Auto Glasses. This is my company. I've uh, been in business for a little, like the last uh, uh, nine years almost now uh, for myself. Uh, and we're going to pull the back glass out of this Cybertruck today. Um, and I'm going to use a WRD uh, bat. Uh, they call it the black bat or an orange bat. Um, I do use the bison, but the bison is too big. Uh, for this for this project, so I think the bat is uh, little enough, and then we'll pull it right out. If you've ever pulled the windshield or the back glass out of a Chevy pickup, the new ones, you can do this all day. So uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna knock it out of the park. And so. where where is this window we're gonna remove? Can you show us? Yeah, right in here. This window right here. We're gonna use the string tool. I uh, I talked to Corey from. I'm sure, I'm, I, I wish I knew what company he worked for, but he's in Colorado Springs. It says there's six clips. They're pretty big, but he says should have no problem. They also cold knifed it. Uh, I'm not cold knifing. I'm using my string tool today. I'm using the bat. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to string it out. And, um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to remove these two little plastic pieces right here on each side, which will expose the edges of the glass. This one's on kind of tight. For some reason, that one's kind of already starting to fall off. So I'm going to use my... Um, I'm going to use a, uh, they call it a, uh, like a uh, extractor blade and trim the, uh, trim the tape off of it and then pull them off and we'll be good to go. So the glass comes out from the back? Yeah, it'll come out from the back. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. And we put tarps down and stuff for whatever in case it cracks or something? Yeah, I, I don't, that's the only thing is like, I don't, we can put something in here. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't. Okay. But, you know, there's always that chance so cool cool so, yeah. and uh do we need to get inside what happens inside so, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to is i'm going to put my tool on on the glass protect it with these these pieces of plastic which is this one here this one here and as i and i'm going to cover i'll have the uh string and the protector protecting everything i don't really think we need to take the headliner off Corey says that he did, but he also, like I said, he cold knifed it. So, 
and ex using the extractor so which is pretty uh they're pretty if you don't know what you're doing apparently he does so uh but uh i would rather do it this way that way i can take my time and and go slow and do it that way so, that's great hey yeah. thank you so much you bet all right go ahead okay so now we've put the tool on the inside i've removed the plastic pieces you can see them down here in the corner i've removed those and then you can see my you can kind of see the string let me pop up in there real quick i popped it to the corner and we're gonna of course see the string what is the string for string will cut the, the urethane that's in there okay ah uh, so one side's locked down I need to, I need to pause it for a minute so we're pulling more string yeah so you want to pull it through ah oh, crap we're wrapping around the window <laughs> So uh, tell us about these pegs in the in the window. What's going on here? So this peg here is a very, very heavy peg here. You can see it, big yellow peg. And then I've already knocked these off. So once we knock them off, then the string will go past it and won't catch it. They're too big for the string to to um, break to break them. Like it would, but it's like I would rather do it this way. Yeah, do it this way, and that way I don't have to restring the tool again. Okay, I'll great. probably break the string eventually. Got it. So yeah, so. That's great, thank you so much. You bet. Oh, you want to explain? Go ahead, yeah. what, what, <laughs> okay. is, what is this thing? So this is, this is the, they call it the black bat. They have orange ones and they have black ones. This one's like a limited edition. So yeah. um, I've got two, two or three of them actually. Um, and so anyway, uh, it's great for little tiny quarter glasses and obviously back glasses and a Cybertruck. So we're just gonna let it do its thing. That's great, thank you. You bet. All right, so here we are. We have the glass removed. And now we're getting ready to put in the replacement structure. And so in order to do that, we have to remove this top piece so we can bring it in from the top. And once you get rid of the two bolts on the side, it just pops off. Just like that. Just like that. Just like All right, so we have the window off. Uh, we're about to clean it up and I wanted to get a good shot of what this looks like open. So uh, right behind the seats, we remove the covers here. We remove the cover that's uh, on the headliner and, uh, and the glass, you know, once you remove the top here, the glass just comes out. And this is the structure we're gonna, the little rubber stuff we're gonna remove and replace it. And these are these are the, the guiding pins. There's six guiding pins uh, that the replacement structure goes in as well. So, all right. So we have the Breezer Windows replacement structure in, installed without a problem. All the localizer six localizer pins go in perfectly. Uh, this is what it looks like in without the glass. We'll put the glass in later. It's currently the the glue that's used is being stuck. This is what it looks like from the inside. So yeah. 
and again there wasn't very much visibility from the through the cabin before and this allows for airflow wonderful go so we got the window out um, we uh, installed the breezer uh, vent system like it's not a vent but it's a I guess it is a vent system so uh, it popped in like a champ I mean nothing fit perfect like it was made to go in there um, so yeah so uh, I'm Travis again with the Pacific Coast Auto Glass you're more than welcome to give me a call if you have any issues trying to get it in and out um, I can kind of guide you uh, as long as you're using the same tools I am so uh, other than that you know when that uh, do suggest you so so what I would do is I would take out if you want to come around the, the side over here so you definitely want to take out the plastic piece on the bottom you want to take out the the headliner on the top take the two pieces of plastic off the old window and uh, and you definitely want to score or at least chop off you know the the big pegs because they're big um, there were two pegs that were in the uh, D pillars um, that I couldn't see, but I could feel them. Um, and actually, my string tool uh, it cut right through it. Uh, so I, um, yeah, just I would when you do do it, and if you are using a string tool, uh, definitely put a new piece of string on to to do it. And um, and I think you could, and it's it's not hard. It's it's not. It's like I told him, it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be, but it wasn't as easy as I anticipated it to be. So. It goes either way. So now, if you do a second one of these, no, oh, it will go. I know exactly what to do. How long uh, would it take you if you? If oh, someone... I pay. I could probably do it in an hour. In an hour, okay. Yeah, Great. Easy, yeah. So it's always the first one, you know. And I've gone to YouTube and and I've done like the 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 um, the Corvette, the okay. uh, the uh, new ones, the yeah. the the eights and the uh, sevens. Okay. And. Uh, I've done those like I've done 10 a day once I watch a YouTube video. So that's great. Uh, yeah. So this Travis, is, this is yeah. amazing. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. Okay.